Today I am unboxing and configuring the USW Flex 5 port PoE switch from Ubiquiti. Ubiquiti products always have really nice packaging which speaks quality product. Once inside the box, the switch is nicely presented. Taking that out, we have the quick start guide, a bracket for pole mounting, two zip ties for attaching the pole mounting bracket to a pole, and a packet with two screws and roll plugs for attaching a mounting bracket to a flat surface such as timber or masonry. Flipping the flex over, we can see the flat mounting bracket this is also magnetic, so the switch could also hang off a steel surface. The brackets slip in and out with a little bit of pressure, but they click into place reassuringly. The cable entry can be removed from the flex for easy access to the ports. This also comes in half, which is useful after installation. The entry is only big enough for the cable, not the RJ45 plugs, and it would be a real nightmare trying to get them out if this didn't remove. The quick start guide gives basic information and directs the user to view more detailed instructions online. It's nice to have the cable ties and screws included. They may only cost a small amount, but this saves having to buy them specifically for this purpose. Before installing the USW Flex in its final home of my attic space, I connected it to the PoE60 switch which was easily accessible. I started Unify and the USW Flex was not detected. This is because my Unify installation is cloud hosted and the unadopted Flex doesn't know where to look for it. I started the UBNT Discovery Chrome plugin. This detected the Flex and a couple of my other Ubiquiti devices, but the option to set the inform address was missing. However, the Discovery tool did show me the IP address of the Flex. Using Putty, I was able to SSH into the Flex and issue the command set inform Along with the FQDN and port of my Unify instance, almost immediately Unify could now see the flex. I was then presented with the option to upgrade the firmware of the flex, which is typically a good thing to do. Again, the upgrade process took a couple of minutes to complete. After the upgrade completed, it was time to make a few small changes to the config. First, I like to give a friendly alias name. I also set the power source to 802.3 AF, at this point as the flex is powered from the PoE60 switch. I applied those settings, then went on to assign a static IP address for the flex. I keep a spreadsheet of the IP addresses I assign to infrastructure devices. I didn't really have much to configure for the individual ports at this time, no specific VLAN tagging, but it was good to see the gigabit connection lit up.
After the installation, I disconnected the UAP AC light from the Ethernet cable in my attic and connected the flex in its place. It powered up and initialized as expected. I now plugged in the UAP AC light. Again, the network light came on and it appeared to power up. I went to check things on Unify and realized I had no wireless connection. I looked at the AP and it was rebooting. The LED went blue, but after a few seconds it rebooted again. This continued and I got concerned and removed the flex for ease of investigation. Plugged directly into the PoE60 switch, the flex powered on. Still the same issue with the AP, so I tried a G3 camera and this worked as expected. In conclusion, even though I had done my math on the power requirements for the flex and the AP light, and I felt I was within the 15 watt port capability of the PoE60, but it seemed I was not. I knew as I added more devices to the Flex, I would need to use a PoE, but didn't anticipate this being so soon. I ordered the recommended PoE 50V 60W from Amazon. This arrived the next day and everything behaved as expected. In conclusion, the Flex does the job it was designed to do well. In an environment where I do not have a power source, this was my ideal solution. As I have already said, I was disappointed by the power issue, but this was easily overcome. The addition of the Flex will allow me to continue the expansion of my home network and install more G3 cameras around my property.